Memorial keepsakes are comforting items used to remember your deceased loved one. A memorial item can be anything. Your dead uncle might have been a massive football fan and you want to decoupage a football with pictures of his face? Yeah, go right ahead. These items should be personalized to you and your loved one, so be as creative as you like. Please subscribe, share and like if you've enjoyed this video. Now let's talk memorial keepsake items. Teddy bear made out of old clothes. Items made out of the deceased clothing are very common, from quilts and table runners to pillows and Christmas decorations. But teddy bears seem to be a favorite. Simply grab one of your loved one's favorite t-shirts or jeans or underwear, I don't judge, and have it re-sewn into a teddy bear that you can snuggle with. There are many companies out there that are happy to help you with this if you're not really confident in your sewing skills. It's a great idea for a grieving child or adult. And like we said in our unique things to do with cremated remains video, you can also put some of the cremated remains inside the bear if that's meaningful for you. Foot imprint. This is one of those ideas where you're going to have to make a decision on it very quickly and it's often done when a child dies or a beloved pet. This can either be a cast mold or an ink print depending on what you wish to do with it. Simply hang it on the wall or have the print engraved into a piece of jewelry, for example. Hand cast. So when my grandma died some years back, we were presented with this option that again requires some quick decision making. And it's the cast of her hand. While it does look a little creepy, I will admit, my mum wanted to be able to hold her hand during her grief, like she had done in hospital. And it is incredibly well done and definitely my grandmother's hand. We have been offered this option by many funeral directors over the years, so it appears to be quite common. Solar powered light. Light has always been associated with life. Candles are certainly the most obvious way to go, but personalized solar lights are another option if candles just aren't your thing. It's a great idea for the garden, both practical as you won't fall down the garden steps and a lovely way to keep their memory alive. Bird feeder. Sometimes you just don't want knickknacks taking up space in your house. Or perhaps your dead loved one was a real nature person. Etsy has many different versions of bird feeders, some with photos, others with loving phrases, others with simple initials. Or get creative and make your own. If your parent always wanted to be in a haunted castle, now's a good time as any. Hair locket. Keeping hair in lockets has been a thing as long as jewelry has been around, but the Victorians really ran with it, making it into elaborate artwork. Most funeral homes nowadays will ask if you'd like a clipping of the deceased hair, and there are many options of what to do with it. Many simply keep it in an envelope. I decided to put my grandma's hair in a locket. She always wanted to travel and I was about to go overseas, so I wore it on my holidays so it was like that she was there too. It led to many odd photographs being taken. Fingerprint ring. Fingerprints are unique. Not so good if you're a criminal, but lovely as a keepsake. Fingerprints can be engraved into all sorts of things. You just need to find something that works for you. But rings are a popular choice, particularly if it was of your partner who died. While there are a few ways of getting hold of these prints, it's probably best to ask for them to be taken at the funeral home. Tattoo. Memorial tattoos are as old as tattooing itself, but there is something to be said about not making big decisions during your time of grief. So perhaps keep that in mind. But once you've thought through the idea, go for it. It could be simple, maybe a simple RIP in the date of when they died, or something more elaborate. Bear in mind though that finding a tattoo artist willing to take on such a project and lifelike portrait of a deceased loved one may be difficult. That's a lot of pressure to get it right, so shop around. Memorial Bench Many councils will let you put a memorial plaque on a beach or park bench to commemorate a spot where your loved one spent a lot of time. If your loved one walked their dog in a particular park every day, this might be the idea for you. Not every council will allow this, but ask nicely and make sure to keep it small and simple. Memory Jar Encourage your family members to jot down their favorite memories of your deceased loved one. Fold up these pieces of paper and put them in a memory jar. Whenever anyone wants to think about their loved one, he or she can pull out a piece of paper and reflect on that memory. When several people participate, it adds another layer of surprise. You may hear a well-loved family story from a different perspective, 
or learn something new. What are your favorite memorial keepsake ideas? Let us know in the comments. Remember, get creative. A memorial keepsake could be anything really. Also, check out our unique things to do with cremated remains video for more ideas. Like and subscribe. Now go talk death.